What's going on guys? Welcome back to our Astrogoth Realm of Chaos campaign. It's me Liquid Truth. And already the keen-eyed among you might notice some things look a bit different because the modders are very fast at work and so they've updated quite a bit of the mods. So the only real one that would change anything that we have going on, I have unique faction UI up now and Space Toast from the Discord and one of the subscribers who just has some good ideas a lot of the time mentioned a reshade and I went ahead and downloaded that and tinkered with it a little bit. Let me know in the comments what you guys think, but I really like the way it looks. So um, before we get started, I just want to say thank you guys so, so much for taking time out of your day to watch my content. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe to help boost engagement. And let's get some labors. So we have Pestlich. Pestlich. How the fuck do you pronounce this? Pestlich. <laughs> Over here. But we already know how this goes. If we try to run over there, he's going to run away. So... I think... Oh, we have you as well. What is our recruitment cap? I think we're at... Yeah, we're at the caps for everything. But we have a slot here. However, they want us to build... One of them they asked us to build, specifically the demon smithy, and they'll give us 5k gold. So, let's play ball. And then this we need to upgrade to get to the next quest in the quest chain. The high powered drill assembly line. So we go from the giant conveyor to the drill assembly line. And this is where the finest drilling technology the world has yet seen is developed, improving the Chaos Dwarves' mining operations many fold. We'll do that. We have okay laborers, but we definitely need some more. Um. Yeah, we don't have enough for that now. We'll give us another 100 income. Also, a thing I noticed is the iron mining pit. I was like, eh, I don't know if we want to put that here because it's armaments, but I was looking and for 300 materials, you get 250 armaments. And then I was checking the factory and over here for 300 materials, you only get 150. So that's a very good idea to get that uh, factory thing there. And it might have been more beneficial. No, I mean, it's probably more beneficial to have factories where you have iron mines because you can just obviously drastically boost your armament production but it would make no sense to start with a factory here because we need the raw materials for this quest line for the quest chain so yeah we don't want to increase our production or our use of raw materials yet did we use armaments for one of these upgrades we did oh the demon smithy because it's advanced military cost armament do we want to go this before we go more chaos dwarves though that is the real question Hmm. Are these lords or heroes? Unlocks hero recruitment, demon smith sorcerer. Oh, okay, I see. Uh, sure. And we have Frenzy right now. Uh, I guess there's no rush to increase that if we can't 
recruit through them. Active convoys, one. What is that button? Oh, okay. Also, another thing I was thinking is in Immortal Empires, it would probably be beneficial with um, the way that you need constant labor to have like take all these factions like take this zone out and then leave somebody here like how you used to have a sack city and like warhammer 2 for the skaven this faction would benefit greatly from something like that because you would need the non-stop source of labor it's really i really like also how they didn't call them slaves because if you think about it it's almost more dehumanizing because to call them slaves gives them agency and at least um, acknowledges them as like human or I mean they're orcs and goblins but like you know what I mean like human beings like it acknowledges them as uh, people creatures at least but to call them labor like you even further strip them of their humanity and you just look at him like like straight up megacorp it's like uh <laughs> We just run a megacorp now and you just look at them straight up like a resource like oh you're not even slaves you're just straight up like numbers getting thrown into the fucking drill assembly line so i actually really like that touch but enough bullshitting around how do we bait him he can take that that's fine but we need to kill him and then go take his other territories so for you Think me full, full. you'd have to cross the bridge Awamrag. okay so we'll just put him on this side and damn the winds of magic are so weak here the fuck Whatever. We'll try that. So... We'll have to walk across that. Hopefully, if anything, he'll try to underway, and we can catch him that way. Wipe out his whole army. And... We'll do that. I'm still cautious of the ogres down here because they declared war on us. Seven fifty would take more raw materials per turn. Mm, not yet. Let's see what happens with the ambush. I don't like how it jumped down here. Because that makes me feel like he has an army over there. Okay, so he didn't see our ambush, but he it did march away. Uh oh. Okay, that's not good. Because if the if CA is to be trusted, which let's be honest, they're not. But the way the new faction system works or not faction the, uh, the new AI changes if that's the case they're probably going to be focusing us now hmm well that is not a good thing Ah, Ula de Fasma. Um. So he'd have to come 
he's quite a ways away. Be at war with the saber skins? I think... Construction cost, minus 15%. And less construction time. We don't have any ports. Do campaign line of sight and control for now. Ooh. We could up that. And then here. I mean, Falls of Doom is what we need protected at this point. So we'll wait for that and then we'll put an additional garrison down there. Some hobgoblin units? That kind of sounds cool. Let's go. Let's get them. And for Astragoth. So he came and marched over there. Which I believe is capital settlement. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, he can't get us. If anything, he can just march. Move him. Yeah, he'll not be able to attack us. He'll have to march all the way over here. And for you... Hmm. He can't attack that, which, like I said, that's fine. It's not optimal, but... Do it like that. I'm still scared to upgrade this. We'll wait to see what he's going to do. And we don't have any laborers to spare here. Control plus two. We can now change it to something. Ooh, recruit rank plus two. Rush construction cost. We're not making much armaments here, so... Income from refineries. I'm assuming that's a factory building. But yeah, we also don't have much of those. Higher quotas. Military doctrine. Or masterful architects. Okay, we'll just leave it how it is then. And we're going to need to keep eyes on Karak Azor. Sneaky bastards. Yeah, we saw that coming. And they have another shitty army. Convoy encounter. The guide. Tecton, the cruelest convoy. A guide has tracked down our convoy, offering the, to lead the way to our destination in exchange for a reasonable donation to his pockets. His price is frankly extortionate. Or wait. Yeah. But as they say in business, time is of the essence. Who is it? Pay and follow the guide. Reduce our time for 500 gold. We'll do that. Quest issued. Maintain a total of eight units of the following type. Bunch of hobgoblins. Does that mean our hobgoblin building is finished? That does. In next uh, turn, 
the drill building. Tribesmen, got it. The gods might compel me to kill, but. Hmm. Is he? Okay, he's not close enough to reinforce. But. Hmm. Yeah, they don't have a ton of strength. But before we do that... Uh-oh. Their army left. You dare approach. Because they had 18 sitting there. Raiding. So they're getting raided, hopefully by Karak Azorn. Because otherwise they're coming to whoop our ass. And we do not want that. Leave us out of your bullshit. So... Field battle. Some warp fire throwers. Warp grinder. Bunch of slingers. Be the best. Recruitment cost boosted. Recruit rank plus two faction wide. Hmm. I guess. We'll play it safe. Which sucks because then we can only recruit more of these. But he's at least a sorcerer. So I don't imagine he's going to attack this. But if he is, we'll now boost it. And next turn we'll be able to up that. Hmm. Do we potentially see if they join or do we just hop in there? Up this is 135. Hmm. No, it doesn't do us any favors now. I'd be doing it mostly for the additional firepower for the blunderbuss. I think we have to do it. All right. So I'll see you on the battlefield. Ah, let's do this. We are drastically outnumbered. So positioning is going to be crucial here. So heroes. We as Gabos, isn't that the exact line that the orcs have? Or the green skins, I guess? Did they just recycle the same line? CA. Don't don't make us mad. Should be all right. We'll do it like that. Mix them up a little bit. And then the main strat 
is going to be blank with the big boys. What? What are they saying? I don't understand any of the shit they be talking. But, yeah. So, just to get another brief look at the things. Let me know what you guys think about this. I'm not against tweaking some stuff. This is my first time ever using uh, reshade or anything. So... <sighs> Let's see. There's this here. There's two... We'll try to use that to our advantage. He coming towards us? No. But as we come this way, he's going to try. Let's do it. I don't want to tire ourselves out. Let me see. We eat gobos. And they're smart about that, how they always put it on the blunderbuss. And do it shit every time. Without fail. We didn't lose a unit, thank God. Not yet, at least. Dwarf warriors are doing fine. So it's going to be mostly just positioning in this battle. And the Skaven slaves are going to be base weapon damage, base missile damage. They did it again. All right, you boys on them. You over there. Don't die. All right, they're good. You come up here. Damn, even they got one kill out of that. Five. <laughs> All right. Where are the blunderbusts? Because they're about to come back. Okay, well, they're at least running this time. You set up there. Uh, what? Leave Astrogoth alone. He's not who you want to mess with. Oh, well, here they come. Let's go. Get into position, boys. Run, boys, is right. Yeah, so we're going to try to, once they come out, we're going to have them flank. We're going to use this as choke points. Oh my god, it's every time on the blunderbuss. I swear. They love you guys. You come this way. like that. Show us the enemy. Show us the enemy. 
I'll keep you back until until we deal with the slingers also we need to focus the warlock engineer or whatever how many menace belows do they have i guess we're in there we're attacking them in their settlement so probably a fucking shitload but let's see Let's see. You boys. Ben. I think it's about go time. No, correction. We'll make them come to us. Stay comfy, stay comfy. Nice. Use that mass. And then... Gonna get in here. Yeah, bitch, we're going to force you guys to come to us. Yeah, you can go after the slingers. That's not a problem. Actually, we'll get you up on that hill. Have you help? Cast that. Run into them. Mm. Boost his melee defense, but run through them. We'll run into the warp fire throwers real quick. Cast that. Uh, into the warp fire throwers, please. Now we'll save that spell. I mean, that's how we're doing it, boys. Let's go, I guess. Fuck it. Go in. Uh, you in there. Hit that. We'll go ahead and get you out of there. Boost your melee defense. Then run to the slingers. And then you get the warp fire throwers. Damn, we already have another one. We can cast two back to back. Hit them boys with a flank. Nope, cast it again. You. Oh. Correction. You run out. As long as we're doing that. Get them. Doesn't look like they're firing at all. You at least sit here. Where are the warp fire throwers? Over there. You just get them. You shoot on them. Run up here. Thank you. Do something. 
Warp grinders, shoot them. Oh, they're routing. As are they. That's to be expected, I guess. Go get their escape and slave slingers. Astragoth into the warp fire throwers. Have them help. Dwarf warriors, we're trying to help, dude. We're doing what we can. We got backup. Spread the love. Get the warp fire throwers. Astragoth, keep running. You boys. Get you in here. Shoot the slingers. They almost got the warp fire throwers gone. All right, we got them gone. Get those boys. Out of magic, but we're doing okay. We've got reinforcements coming now. To a, to a degree. We completely wasted this guy the whole fight. He didn't do anything. You over here. Uh, laborers are going to start routing. Over here, over here. Get the warp fire throwers. Don't let them get you. Okay, boys, we got your backup coming. They're about to route you down here. You as well. Get the slingers. Astrogoth. Get on that. Turn your attention to them. Alright. Now we have reinforcements coming in. We should have this under control. I could be wrong, but... Cool. They're routing. Go get the Lord. He's got them. This plunder bus just chilling the whole fight. Did nothing of value. This one's done 20k damage. That one's done 2500. Jesus Christ. Alright, that was a huge misplay. You boys. Nice, but we did it. I'm not sure. We might have lost a unit of dwarf warriors. If that's the case. That's going to be pretty bad. But I hope not. Try to see if maybe they can get him. Shoot him. Light him up, boys. Get moving, boys. Ah, shoot, shoot, shoot. Damn it. We can maybe stagger him. Because we need all the gold we can get. Especially if we lost a unit of Dwarf Warriors. Kill him. Let's see. Pyrrhic victory. Damn it. It's not looking good. Yes, they just routed. Get fucked, Bok Bok. Um. So we got the laborers. We will. Occupy this one as factory as well. And 
Ooh, we got that building. Which is good, because my whole thing was I wanted hobgoblins in this army. Missile strength or hobgoblin archers. Just do some normal archers for now. Nice. Nice, I actually want this building. Uh, we'll keep it like that, though. Effective agent. Spread control. Training. Experience per turn is increased. Assault garrisons. Temple guardian. 15% physical resist. Murderous charge. Ooh, that's really nice. Can we only get one of these? Ah, oh, we can. Damn. Does he have any physical resistance? No. This is huge if we were to have him just charging into stuff. And this would, I guess, just be more if we're going to have him solo lords. But we should have other... Yeah, we can get, like, siege tanks and stuff. Or, uh, like those trains that can siege through stuff. So right now we'll get Guardian instead. Damn, I'm wondering if that's the right choice. But that's what we're going to do. And so for you, we were getting weakness to fire when we cast spells. And then the other one we were getting... Um, damn, direct damage when casting spells. Uh, fire cloak. Yeah, we'll buff this. So yeah, the weakness to fire, and then fire units. Or I guess fire damage, rather. Hashut rune. Hashut rune. Hashut ankor. You're right, dude. That's what I was thinking, too. You took the words out of my mouth. That's exactly what I was thinking. So... Does this provide any armaments? No. No. That is fine. We will upgrade that for more gold. And then that is it. I think. I'm scared. Where are you going? What the fuck, dude? Trait gained. Disciplinarian. And... Sacrifice and Revelation. Your fusion of dwarven engineering and demonic sorcery is an abomination of the worst kind has led, to the, has led the dwarves of the West to send a throng against you. How fitting that the Dawi Dwari Thagi march themselves to their own sacrifice to the Father, in turn bringing you one step closer to the revelation and desecration of the relics they hold so dear. So the unlock requirement is when this battle. What is it? Okay. That's doable. We... Do we have the demon smithy yet? We do. So we can get... 
We have the lore of her shirt. Oh. And then we have down here is finished. We're going to get the additional garrison. Yeah, because his armies are gone. And I don't know where they went. Which means they're probably coming our way. So we need an additional garrison here immediately. We'll put that there. And then... I think we should get a fire sorcerer. Mm. Character experience gain. Hmm. I think we'll go fire simply because Check researched. Quest issued. Yeah, because we have that fire weakness technology. Oh, we also got that additional gold from getting the demon smithy. Nice. So... Where are you going? Trying to march your way over to them? Against council orders. Doom skull key. Can't rush it because there's literally no labor here. It seems odd that the factories would not require labor. I guess is that where we have like the dwarves actually working? Martial training. We're not spending armaments. Speed and charge bonus for the Hobgoblin Wolf Raiders. <gasps> whoa, 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 whoa. Did not mean to click that. This. Ooh, got scared there. So... Karak Peak. Karak Peak. Oh, I get it. The different one. So we can't directly march over there anyway. You are at war with somebody, so you should ideally not immediately attack us. You... Hmm. Not enough warp I mean, even if he is, even if he attacks us, Berlin. his army's weak. So who cares? Is Udiol for use? We will Alpha wait. Grimazul. To just get a little more. Dandar. Shielded Hobgoblin is very interesting. Goblin sneaky gets. Anti infantry. What is their bonus versus infantry? How do you check that? Bonus versus infantry seven. Hmm. Backstabbers, base missile damage and weapon damage plus 30%. Ah, I see. Their hit points are greater than 50. And they have stalk. So yeah, you're, they're just like flanking units. These ones don't have stall. They have hide. Yeah, we'll get two of those. Unassigned skill points. 
for our convoy. Cargo capacity and better scales. Did we get... We did get an item, so he finished his delivery. So we got the Talisman Stone Mantle, which gives you the ability, Stone Mantle, physical resistance, zero up to 30, speed, zero up to minus 10. Uh, Ward save, miscast base chance, minus 10%. Hmm, interesting. So it boosts your stats, more physical resist at the cost of speed, and you get ward save. Oh, can only be equipped by Astragoth. Damn, all right, well, we'll just have to bite the bullet then. And... So we can't send him out because he's on the way back. I don't want to send a hobgoblin army out. That sounds like a recipe for disaster. And we need... Ooh, we can get raw materials. We'll start heading our way. We'll trade you for some gold. I don't think we're going to upgrade any of these. Oh, we have enough Conclave influence. I've not paid attention. Income from settlements, plus 25%. Casualty replenishment. Armament cost. Ends of magic power reserve. Mm, I do like that. That's sick how they're just chanting how to shoot in the background. Diplomatic relations for chaos dwarves. Norska. Hmm. Income from settlements. Mm. Income from settlements for now. Claim seat. We're the only person with a seat. We got hella, hella conclave influence. We're not going to spend it for more just now, though. Uh, we'll go ahead and wait just to scare him back, ideally, because he can't reach this. No, blame you, you. If anything, he'll probably just march closer towards us. And yeah, now he's down to one territory. I want to up something, but we also can't recruit anything just yet. I don't think we have any Regiment of Renown unlocked yet. Alright. I knew he was going to do some annoying shit like that. Because now we're not going to be able to attack him. Oh, you're going to declare war. Oh, so you're going to take my factory we just built? You piece of shit. Your rival, the war host of Tsar, has claimed a tower of Tsar seat. Which one? Grant random weapon or ancillary every three turns. That might actually be worth it. What? Oh, because we're recruiting using that building. You asshole. So you wasted a whole turn of recruitment. Think me fool, fool. Hmm. 
Okay, so before we involve ourselves in that, where are these dwarves at? Military presence 18. Come then. I have a feeling they attacked the ogres, and now they're just replenishing and recruiting again. Hopefully. Hmm. What is our hero capacity? Infernal Castellan. What is that? Because we can't recruit any. I guess we are allowed, but we just don't have the buildings to do it. Um, this guy. Missile specialist? Oh, it's the guy with like the gun and the axe. Okay, I see. Dormitage! Foolish thing! No! Uh. I mean, I guess we literally have to. Oh, wait, that's a five. Piece of shit, dude. You asshole. We have to literally come back just for that. What an asshole. Uh... He could probably take this. Because there's no walls here. Because they hate us. We don't get fucking walled settlements. Castworth's garrisons. Like, what is their deal? How the hell do we get defense, like, defensive abilities? Uh, hopefully he'll attack them. Against council orders. We We'll come up here just to tuck ourselves away a little bit. Uh, we'll do that. And then sadly, Astragoth. 16. I have 16 troops there. Are we close enough to... A fool of Dr. Aftramas. He's an Hashwat Anuku. I will not. He's Dr. Aftramas. Loser. Now he might come and attack us. Anfa Adrimazu. Hmm. I think we're fine with that. That's our caravan. Sacred Executioner! Not murder you yet. Hmm. No, there's no reason for us to sign that. Verminous valor. Is it worth it to sign a non-aggression with escape? Probably not, right? I'd have to imagine no. I smell things. Because I'm sure our mutual enemies like that we're fighting them. They don't even care. They don't give a shit about us fighting with the Skaven. You bastards. But we need that final settlement. So... We'll leave it at that.
do it like that. Uh, we'll do that for now, even though we obviously can't even recruit any of that. But the main point was to go to missile infantry. And we can give them extra powder. 30% armor piercing missile damage. Base explosive damage. Armor piercing missile damage. Or armor piercing explosive damage as well. And base missile damage. That's an insane combo. And we have two of them for eight each. So it would boost our stuff. Our uh, requirements by 16 per turn. Which we can afford. We'll drop down to 30. So now we're sitting pretty. Oh, I like how it has the price on there. And... Let's go. I wish it would have at least the turn, like, that your convoys have left. How do you want peace, dude? You declared war on me. the fuck is the AI doing, dude? Mission issued. Defeat. Skine Scourge. Yeah, we're going to do that. This guy's so annoying. And what the fuck is this? Hey, get out of here. This ain't cool. That's not what the fuck we're doing here. This isn't fucking let's all hang out and be cool time. No. Hmm. Ooh, it's a capital settlement. Dumskarfles! Hmm. Yeah, we don't have much amber success chance here. Is Udiol for you? And we can only get one Demon Smith Sorcerer. Doomskulky. How do we catch these pieces of shit out right now? I mean, there's no more places to run. I'm not worried about him attacking this. We need to see where the... I don't know where they put their fucking army again. Are they at war with anybody else? Nope, just us two. But clearly they're fighting them because their strength rank has weakened. We'll upgrade that at least. Uh, this one. Set you up there. And... You here. And... Get two of those. Put the fire sorcerer in the army. And we'll see what we can do from here. Eh, I don't think we need... Eh, we'll upgrade that. Slaughter! 
We're doing a lot of tap dancing around these assholes. So hopefully they'll either come this way. I don't know what he's going to do because he cannot take this. As long as he doesn't declare war on us, we'll be okay. I am told you want to talk. But I don't want a non-aggression with him because he has that settlement. We need to take that from him. Well, well, fucking well. If it isn't Skyn Scourge, well, we have a mission to talk to you, my dude. So, <laughs> Nice, it's beautiful when things go your way. So I'll see you guys on the battlefield. Bitch, what? I thought we got an ambush. Am I tripping? Or did they just walk into our attack? What? I got fucking baited. I was all kind of excited. I thought I was doing some shit. Is he the one? Nice. He has a gun and an axe. He's the wizard. So I guess all the wizards look like that. High ass armor. Even some good defense. It's nice. And he has fireball. Ooh. So as we trigger his explosions. Woo. So we should be fine here. idea sorry change of plans alright big brain strat here we're going to bog him up. Bog him up there. Then walk the boys up. Then while we do that, we'll move them up. Force them to, like, charge us. Or at least acknowledge the, the group. And while we do that, how fast is this guy? He's not fast. That's fine. We'll put... You here. You as well. You here. They're not going to be able to shoot over that rock. So we're going to want them to flank around this side. Oh my god, not this shit again. Okay, Astrogoth. Kill them. Don't let them touch the blunderbuss. So they're out of range now. Nice. I didn't even plan that to get that close. I don't want to waste any magic. Come on, Astragoth. There you go. And just as we're about done with that. Alright. 
Nice. That was good. Okay. Get you boys. You two up there. per se just charge through here move them like that see mission success they're being forced to at least start the battle Boost your melee defense and then have you run through the Skaven Slave Slingers and stuff. Force them to acknowledge. Just continue. You're doing great, sweetie. You're doing great. And we'll start coming in that way. come that way and now it's just time for them to come in because they should have the weakness to fire and at least we'll boost their stats you hold them you guys don't want this guys don't come this way trust me you give one warning it's not gonna go well oh no don't cast that don't cast that over there do that. You there. You boys here. Run into that, please. You back there. You in here. Fireball. Ah! Fireball over there. Need to be careful. I don't want to launch this over my my own units. Give us fire attacks as they give weakness to fire. It's beautiful. Astrogoth. Run over there. Us. Have our boys. Oh my god. That's beautiful. Astragon. Boost his melee defense. He'll take care of that. Or rather, they'll take care of that. You this way. Have him. Ooh. Bull centaurs get a nice rear charge on this. You catch them, please. Should be able to run just out of their range. You. Go ahead and shoot that real quick. Where they get all antsy. Oh my god. Oh, the rear charge on them. Wait, hold on, hold on. Get a nice fireball over there as they all have weakness to fire. I hit my own bull centaurs. But you know, all part of the game. Luckily, they're shielded. They can at least try to protect us over here. Go ahead and shoot the slingers real quick. Nice, dude. You. 
Try to get you out of the way. See if they... It didn't hit our own units, but it didn't hit them either. <laughs> but I guess, you know, could be worse. Put you boys there. Put you like this. You over here. So we kill the Lord. Just set them up. Then move these boys up like that. Kill this stupid ass slingers, please. You as well. Let's get the lords back over here. You. Cast fire. Hopefully we can catch them. Nice. Ripped across them. Go melee real quick. Should we run? You guys should have ran a while ago. Damn, they're in melee mode and still shooting. That's pretty sick. Usually, uh, if they're in melee mode, they won't do shit. But I guess, I'm assuming, even though they were in melee mode, because they weren't in range, they still chose to attack how they could which is a pretty amazing change. But yeah, that was a nice-ass battle. Hell yeah, there's been some good battles this episode. Hell yeah, I'll see you guys back on the map. Hmm, well, you know the drill. Pay up with the labor. Damn, he died. Nice. And this makes no sense. Potion of toughness. 30 armor. For 21 seconds, 30 armor, 24 melee defense, and replenishes hit points of combat. Who does it replenish, though? Well, uh, well just us. I'm assuming. It doesn't specify. Regiment of Renown unlocked. Oglacons, Oglacons, Wolf Boys. Nice. Ocean of Toughness. Nice. Got some goodies. Whoa, we got a blade on uh, our convoy. The ever-changing blade. Melee attacks. Enables magical attacks, which we already have. But gives armor-piercing weapon damage plus 15. Give me that. Give me that shit, boy. That's not for you. That's for me. Mandatory service. Hmm. I think we go that one for now. And I think we need 2k... No, we're going to Pop Goblin Quartermasters, because then we can afford to up that to level three. So he's just recruiting, and he's going to just declare war on us like a bitch, I can already tell. Um, I don't know what the hell he's doing. Magical item drop chance. We're going to just go for more magic instead. Armor plus 10, melee defense plus 3. Yeah, you're mostly just... Tie up the heroes and let us do hella damage. And for you... Uh... Pull down minus 50 and it makes it a little cheaper. Absolutely. 
Marunless. And you did pretty well magic wise there. Hmm. They're still. Oh shit, he took that over from Bang. I wonder if we can get on Grimgore's good side. Can we not talk to him? Have we quote unquote not met him yet? We can't see him? He's gonna just declare war on us the second he can see us. What's our strength rank? 16, nice. So I think what we should do Let's take this battle. I refuse. Makazia Faumansi. Hmm. And then we potentially try to sell it off to them for some sort of alliance. I'm thinking that's the play. Let's get him out of here. I don't know what the hell this is. We call that free labor where I'm from. Arcane item, wand of jet. Ooh. We'll give you a root marcher. But that's not for you. Arcane items are for our boy, Power Recharge. Oh, we're about to start going off with the magic, dude. So now... Vagras a dock. Mix the army up a little bit. And See, the fucked up thing is. I don't want to fight them. I want to go take this last Skaven territory. But I think I have to. Because if we leave, they're going to just take this. Well, oh, hold on. We'll at least move you as far as we can. We'll get them. Siege Tower. And plus one hundred to the workload. We will do it. And we'll wait. I'm scared to put that anywhere. So... Let's see what happens. I'm scared. They let us put them under attrition, and we got our siege towers, which means we can put these boys in the towers and have them get up on the walls, which I think is pretty huge, and I'll probably have him march up there and just reinforce. 
So I think we're in an okay spot. Can I talk to these guys yet? Nope, still can't talk to Grimgore. And Come then, they're at least weakened because Grimgore is now fighting them as well. So things are looking good. We have this drill mission we need to do. We're going to wait until this is done so we can build our other building. Or actually, we might be okay fighting this with that. Um, I know it's a lot of... One, two, three, four. Four dwarf warriors. The miners are not great. Those will kind of fuck us up. Yeah, I want to have at least, like, four dwarf warriors, if I'm being honest. Not counting the great weapons. So we'll have to get that building somewhere. We can maybe actually get it here, because this is a factory, I believe it's called. Or no, it's a tower. Yeah, tower building. So, nice, we've made some good progress. Ooh, and we can unlock another tower seat. Beautiful. But we're going to call this an episode here. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to help boost engagement. And I'll see you guys next time. Take care.